Hey, this is JT with RMUS. I'm here to show you the OGI, or Optical Gas Imaging Solution, we've been working with with Aerial OGI. Uh, this has been a long time in the works, but the reason it's taken a while is we wanted to find a very simple solution for uh, the capture of uh, gases, right? Uh, you could do methane, propane, uh, there's a number, I think there's 15 or 20 that this sensor can see. So what you're looking at here is the Sierra Olympia Ventus OGI Core on the Sony AirPeak. We are using the Sony AirPeak because it's very, very easy to use. It's plug and play, uh, very simple to transport. Uh, the batteries come out very easy. This is a very simple drone for anybody to operate. A lot of the uh, solutions we've had in the past were a much larger drone. Um, and so we still are working on those in the future, but right now the simplest, easy to th easiest way to do this is using the Sony AirPeak because it's such a solid platform. Also NDA compliant. So. Um, what, when you start the camera up, uh, the sensor has to cool down. So generally there's about a two to three minute cool down period depending on the ambient temperature uh, to get the uh, core ready. Uh, and when uh, you're booting up, you'll see the screen will be a little bit uh, uh, convoluted until that, that sensor is ready to go. So just keep that in mind when you're using optical gas imaging. It does take a few minutes for the sensor to um, cool down. Also, we'll show you this in a minute. We're going to capture what, what's really cool about this. Um, the setup here is it's got a uh, what they call gem mode. So it's actually seeing the movement of the gas, which makes it very easy to identify. Sometimes we're, when you're out in bright light, it's hard to see the gas on your screen while you're doing this. Um, with optical gas imaging, it's a little bit different than the thermal cameras. Uh, you're not going through a lot of color palettes. Over the years, research has found that either white hot or black hot is the easiest way to see the methane leaks or any sort of gas. So let's put this in the air and take a look at some of the imagery. Okay, so what you have on the screen here is uh, you can switch between white hot and black hot here. Um, also, we're gonna do a nuke. So that's gonna uh, recalibrate the sensor. Um, and right now we have a small leak that's really hard to see. Uh, in the tank here. So what we can do is go to our gem mode. We'll turn that on and you can start to see see the little green coming out here. So that's the real value. This is a very small leak, but we're able to see that in gem mode, which it's a little bit harder to detect. Um, if we move the drone a little bit, you're going to see the screen turn a little more green. So that's okay. What you're seeing here is you just have to let it settle. This is showing the movement on the screen. So it's a lot easier to detect. Now we can also go to the exposure here and turn up the sensitivity and we let it sit for just a second here and you're going to start to see a lot more turns green but you're going to see the leak a lot more clear here okay so let's capture an event here so we have the recording we're going to capture this event and uh, we'll show you just in a minute how easy it is to do the reporting so we'll go back to the uh, regular mode here uh, we're going to do one more nuke to see how this works. There, now you have a nice clean image of the leak. Uh, and we can go in here and turn off the gem mode, just so you see that one more time. And we can go back to the white hot mode here. Okay, so we've done our flight, uh, captured the data out in the field. Uh, we showed how that worked on the, uh, on the screen capture there. So uh, right now we just take the SD card out, put it in our uh, PC. This has to run on a, a Windows-based computer. Uh, now you'll see the, the screen that I'm looking at right now. So what you do is you go into the, uh, the program here, and we have the, uh, the image that we, found, that we, we took. Uh, the video is right here, a TS file. Uh, so we use that one. And then we, hit, we browse for where we want it to go, which I've done already. And then we hit process video. And then we come to this screen here, where we have all the incidents. And here is the report. So we can look at uh, a couple of the, we took a couple of captures here, um, but you can look at the report here. It's gonna show the, the quick uh, video that we took, see, seeing the gas leak here, also geotagging it. And the nice thing is this report can be emailed with all this um, data in it, so it's secure, uh, if your email is secure. And this can be set up and pushed into your Eldar systems. Um, there is an extra cost for that if we need to do that. The reason we don't have it set up natively is there's so many different ones, but we can uh, make this file go into your Eldar system. 
If you're buying a fleet of these, we can make it uh, a little more cost effective if you like to do that. But a uh, very simple process here to fly the drone, capture the data, and report on it.